Hi, welcome to Talk. I'm Marie Celestin. Today we have a great program where we'll be talking about healthcare reform. And with me in the studio is Lindsay Tucker, who is the health reform policy manager. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the show. Thank you. So we have a lot to talk about. Um, so I wanted to start a little bit by telling our viewers about the mission of Healthcare for All. Sure. So Healthcare for All is a not-for-profit organization and we are based in Boston but we are Massachusetts wide and the goal of our organization is to make sure that everybody in Massachusetts has quality affordable health care. Great. That's like a big mission. It is. <laughs> Which it's is doable. Mission. But I think Healthcare for All, I think over the past few years actually, you know, give a lot of us hope that this is possible. We're really close actually. Mm -hmm. So just in the past three years, as you know, health reform passed in April of 2006. And in the past three years, we have covered 430,000 wow, people who people. didn't have health coverage before. It's an amazing yeah. number. So again, that's like a big success in terms of seeing, you know, how many people get covered, but there are still people who are not covered. Yes. So we've brought it down to an uninsurance level of just about 2.5% in okay. the state. And most of those folks are... Um, not the elderly and not kids. So most of those folks are between 18 and about 60, 65 okay. years of age. Okay. And basically you cover everyone. So in terms of healthcare for all, you're talking about children and adults and regardless of like your status and, and the state um, yeah. to get good, good Absolutely. Healthcare. Yeah. So the work that we do is really broad based. We try to focus on everybody. Um, health reform in particular looks a little bit at kids, but mostly at adults. Mm -hmm. And adults who are not eligible for Medicare, but it's a lot around folks who are eligible for Medicaid. And then also people who uh, may not be eligible right. for Medicaid, but may be able to get coverage through this new program called Commonwealth Care, okay. which is an expanded subsidized program. And more than half of the people who are newly covered in health reform are actually through the private market. Okay. So either on their own or through their employer. All right, great. So before I go, because I know we're probably going to talk forever, <laughs> Um, I wanted to show a clip about um, the recent, um, well, the current bill that you're working on and to see one of the um, residents who testify to sort of get that, um, to get support for that in the House. So I think what you're going to be looking mm -hmm. at is looking at the budget. Okay. And so this issue has come up in the past few months. The budget is the only law that the legislature has to pass every single year, and they passed it at the very end of June. Okay. And the one issue that we're focused on most right now, which, yes, I could talk yeah. about forever, <laughs> is um, making sure that everybody has coverage. Great. And so there's an issue right now, 30,000 legal tax-paying documented folks, immigrants in Massachusetts, are threatened with losing their coverage. Okay. And so if, if it's the clip that yeah. I'm thinking about, so that's the one. it's uh, a man named Eugenio mm -hmm. who is in this category, who currently has Commonwealth care, and who may lose it depending on what the legislature what decides. All right, so let's watch that very quickly. Señores políticos, representantes de Massachusetts, mi nombre es Eugenio Hernández. Este me encuentro enfermo de cáncer y por el momento lo tengo controlado, pero me imagino que esto puede seguir y por esa razón les suplico de que por favor este, no nos quiten el seguro porque eso nos afectaría en el personal, me afectaría demasiado y después de eso cuántas personas nos quedarían afectado por el motivo de quitarle el seguro. Entonces esa es la razón, es pues porque yo les suplico que si pueden o mejor dicho, les suplico que no nos quiten el seguro porque nos ayuda mucho. En el caso mío, yo me siento, desde que recibí la carta que me van a cortar el seguro, yo me sentí completamente mal. Porque soy una persona que he trabajado fuerte en este país, he pagado todos mis impuestos y no lo veo justo que nos corten el seguro. Así es que les suplico de favor que no nos corten el seguro. Solamente. All right, so we're back. So okay. that was such a powerful piece. I thought it was important to at least hear the voices of one person who's affected, and I know there are many. So 30,000 is a large number of people. Yes, it who is. Will, who may. Yep, and over so. 500 of them are right here in Cambridge. Yeah. Wow. So that's yeah. a lot. So then, so that's what we're trying to change in terms of to make sure that doesn't happen. Right. 
Okay. So we've heard from lots of folks. We've heard from Eugenio, and we want to make sure that he can keep his coverage right. to keep him healthy and right. to make sure that he doesn't get sick again so that we can catch that cancer early rather mm -hmm. than later. And we've also heard from folks, there's a Bangladeshi man named Bazlul Wahab, and he came and spoke to us about his 63-year-old mother who may lose coverage.